Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to crochet the bobble stitch. For this stitch we are going to start with a multiple of 4, so I chained up 32. In the second chain from the hook we are going to make a single crochet and then in each stitch across we are also going to make single crochets. So just single crochets all the way down the chain. So here is the first row. It's just a row of single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. For row two, we are going to single crochet in this very first space. This chain one will not count as a stitch. So single crochet, and then we are going to single crochet in the next two stitches as well. So we have three single crochets and then in the next stitch we are going to work our bobble. So yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then we're going to repeat that for a total of five times. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two that was the second time yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two that was the third time yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two that was four times and yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now you should have a total of six of these loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all six. And then in the next stitch, we are going to make a single crochet. And the bobble will be on the opposite side. So the bobble is comprised of the bobble stitch itself and then the single crochet next to it. And then in the next two stitches, we are going to make single crochets. So I'm spacing these bobbles out a bit. There are two single crochets in between each bobble because like I said, the bobble stitch is actually comprised of the bobble stitch in that one stitch and also the single crochet next to it. That counts as one bobble. So again, we're going to do another bobble. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Do that for a total of five times. And if you lose track of how many times you've done it, just know that you'll always end up with six loops on your hook before you yarn over and pull through all of the loops. And then single crochet into the next stitch to finish up that bobble. And then we are going to single crochet in the next two stitches as well, just to space those bobbles out. So you will see them on the opposite side like that. So I'm going to continue to make a bobble and then have single crochet, single crochet, single crochet all the way until the end. Here we are at the end of row two. So you should have ended up with a bobble and three single crochets as your last stitches. You chain up one and turn your work. So here you will see the bobbles on the opposite side. So in between the bobble rows, we are going to make single crochet rows. So all you have to do is start your row in that very first space because again, that chain one will not count as a stitch. And you're just going to single crochet all the way across 
and you're going to continue to do that until you have a total of three single crochet rows and then you are going to do this bobble row again and then you will continue to repeat that pattern so this bobble row three single crochet rows bobble row and so on and so forth and then once you do achieve the height then you could just end with um, a single crochet row after uh, the bobble row just so it matches the beginning where we just did a single crochet row and then started our bobble rows so this is what it should be looking like three single crochet rows in between the bobble rows again the bobbles only show up on one side so the back should look like this and that is it. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something new today. And if you enjoy crochet tutorials and crochet patterns, then be sure to subscribe to my channel.